Coming up on UITV News, we'll show you how important internship opportunities can be. And robberies happen every day in Iowa City, but we'll show you how to protect yourself this summer. And in sports, UITV gets a behind-the-scenes look at the new multi-million dollar football complex. See why this new project could change the face of Iowa Hawkeye football. All of that is coming up on UITV News. Here with your local updates for Iowa City, you're watching UITV, your number one source for news. At the anchor desk, Reed Chandler, Annie Satowski, Samantha Bear with weather, and Darius Bowie with sports. Well, you can tell that it's the last weekend before summer here at the University of Iowa. Welcome to UITV News. I'm Reed Chandler. And I'm Annie Satowski. So it was an active start to May when a storm ripped through Iowa City last night with a threat of flash floods. The heavy downpour quickly filled drainage pipes and flooded the streets, leaving Iowa City travelers stranded for several hours. As you can see in this photo here, the rain made it extremely difficult for cars to get through downtown Iowa City. Large gusts of wind left several rural Iowa homes damaged, and the severe storms are expected to continue throughout the night. And this weekend is all about entertainment as the University of Iowa finishes its annual New Play Festival. The event allows aspiring screenwriters to showcase their work and maybe even jumpstart their Hollywood career. That's what happened to Rick Cleveland, who is now an Emmy Award winning producer and writer. A Hollywood producer discovered the University of Iowa alum 17 years ago. Since then, Cleveland has written for shows like Mad Men and The West Wing. He will be returning to Iowa campus as a guest speaker this weekend. And graduation is quickly approaching, and a batch of fresh graduates will plan to enter the workforce. But how can these graduates turn their degrees into dollar signs? Eric Don has a story on what you can do this summer to get one step ahead. With summer only a week away, UI students feel the heat in the classroom. But what will they do when class is dismissed? We're going to Europe. I'm probably going to go to the bar and grab myself a stiff whiskey coke. I actually don't have a job at all, so I'm going to try to find some work. I'm going to graduate here, I'm going to slowly build my confidence, and I'm going to enter the workforce. While some students look to have a good time, others will look for ways to build their careers. The university provides students the opportunity to meet with advisors who help get them summer internships, a pivotal step in landing that first job. One of the things I try to do is connect students with opportunities. Interning is a great place to get your name out, get people to know who you are and what you're capable of. It's an opportunity to meet people. Students have the ability to access career services online in the comfort of their very own room. These resources allow students a great way to network for new career opportunities. Hireahawk.com is an online resource which allows students to upload resumes and search for internships. The site is devoted to help find a job that's fit just for you. We've had over 4,000 on-campus interviews this year, both for internships and full-time jobs. We just got the placement numbers back for full-time jobs uh, from last year, uh, and we're at 94% placed for uh, business majors, and for liberal arts and science majors, we're at 92%, and that, that's six months after graduation. Taking advantage of these services is a proven way to help you get one foot in the door with future employers. This is Eric Dawn, UITV News. And you may have noticed words like robbery, burglary, and theft frequently displayed in local headlines. After this year's increase in warm weather, so have these crimes. And local authorities say that being prepared and knowing how to handle these situations could sometimes be your saving grace. UITV's Taisha Woods has more. It was too late for this apartment building where four UI students were robbed of their possessions early in the morning while they slept in their bedrooms. I woke up and my other two roommates came home and uh, we none of us knew what happened to one of my roommates' TVs. And so then we kind of started looking around and we found out that more stuff was missing. Among other missing items were computers, a television, purses, and an iPod and without renter's insurance, they were at somewhat of a loss. But this occurrence is no shock for Iowa City. 
There are actually people whose job it is to check unlocked doors to look for apartments that are more theft friendly. And because theft can take place at any time, it's also important to be ready at any time. And this means making sure the door is locked whether you're indoors or out. It's also important to know whether your apartment's security tapes are in working order, because many times they are there to deter bad behavior, but tape over and delete the existing footage. It makes me feel very um, violated, kind of, that like our safe place, our home, was intruded upon. I think from now on I'm going to be very, very, very cautious about making sure the doors locked, the blinds are closed, like, um, and, and getting renter's insurance, definitely. And so no matter where you live, know that crimes like this happen every single day in Iowa City, and it's important to know what steps to take after it's happened. Tasha Woods, UITV. And still to come, why students should do their homework on pre-workout supplements. And we had quite the storm come in last night with heavy rainfall and some moderate damage to eastern Iowa. But I'll tell you what to expect for the rest of this weekend coming up in just a bit. Names like Jacked, MP Assault, and White Flood encourage students to use pre-workout boosters to maximize their workouts. But the deaths of two soldiers have prompted the U.S. military to ban more than a dozen types of these pre-workout supplements from all military bases. But the ban does not apply to retail stores like the ones you find around a college campus. UITV's Nicole Meehan talks to students who use these products to find out how much they really know about what they're putting into their bodies. Avodia retua carpa. Gamma ambiduberic acid. Glucuronolactone. I've looked at the ingredients on the pre-workout before and it's just a really long list of stuff that I couldn't understand. Pre-workout mix companies market their products as muscle miracles and energy enhancers. Buyers look for ingredients such as caffeine and creatine to help them get pumped for a workout and encourage muscle growth. But the Army is investigating a common pre-workout ingredient called dimethylamylamine, or better known as DMAA. The Department of Defense says that this ingredient may be linked to adverse side effects, such as seizures, kidney failure, or even loss of consciousness. And one time I took a particularly large dosage and my, my vision actually kind of started to black out on the corners. Some of the pre-workout boosters that contain this ingredient include Jacked, Oxy Elite Pro, and Creafuse. The FDA does not regulate these supplements. Therefore, it is the supplement manufacturer who determines whether their product is safe and whether their labels are accurate. The manufacturers are required to provide an ingredient list, but they are not required to reveal the dosages. It's common for just one scoop of these pre-workout mixes to contain as much caffeine as three cups of coffee. There are 30 different ways to reference the ingredient DMAA, making it sometimes hard to detect. The retail store GNC says there is absolutely no reason to believe there are any safety issues linked to their products. However, the FDA is increasing the overall scrutiny of the supplement industry. A lot of Dietitian so Joanne Miller so says I the safest bet is to consult a health professional before taking these supplements. We tend to trust what's on the shelves and or maybe trust a certain manufacturer, trust what we've heard from other people, um, or trust the statements online, and then we just go with it. Other people are using it. It seems to be safe, but that's not always the case. This is why it is important for you to do your research before you take a pre-workout supplement. Be sure to read all ingredients and pay attention to warning labels. This is Nicole Meehan, UIowa TV. So I'm here with Sarah Arter, who is a personal trainer and group fitness instructor at the University of Iowa Rec Center. She is here to tell us about some fun and efficient workouts that help you get ready for that summer body. And no pre-workout mix is required. So Sarah, what do you like to do for fun in the summer to get in shape? Uh, I really just like to keep it fun. I don't like my workouts to be considered work. And that's the great thing about it being summer is you can get outside and go for a bike ride or a jog, get some rollerblades on, and 
just get outside and have fun with it. Yeah, Iowa City is a great place for that. But what about those people who do like more structured workouts? Um, I've put together some moves here actually for um, that you can put into an interval training workout. An interval training is a great and efficient workout for people who may be crunched for time or really just want to get see those results really fast. Uh, you can keep it simple with um, plank position, which is great for those abs, push-ups, shoulders. Um, you can do jump roping, or you can get creative and throw all sorts of moves in there. The possibilities are really endless, so it's a, it's a nice workout. And what are some of the health benefits um, when you do interval training? Uh, it really speeds up your metabolism because you really the key is to uh, have nice, fast bursts of energy, high-intensity workouts, followed by a really short recovery. And that really speeds up your metabolism. And because the amount of options you can do are endless, you can really work that muscle um, confusion and switch up and find all sorts of new workouts to do. And would you say pre-workout mix is required for this? Definitely not required. Just have a good attitude and have some fun. And maybe some H2O. Well, thanks so much for coming in, Sarah. I'm sure our viewers will really appreciate those workouts this summer. So now we'll go to Darius with sports. Yeah, guys. The injury bug has struck another star athlete, and this injury may end the Hall of Fame career. Yankees pitcher Mariano Rivera tore his right ACL in pregame warmups after he slipped on the warning track shaggy fly balls. The 42-year-old is in his 18th season with the New York Yankees and has five World Series wins. The future Hall of Famer is a 12-time All-Star and is baseball's all-time saves leader with 602 career saves. An emotional Rivera was unsure if he would ever pitch again. And Iowa football is undergoing huge changes. While head coach Kurt Ferentz spends much of his offseason revamping the entire coaching staff, he has another team laying the groundwork for the future of Iowa football. Daily Iowa's David Rye explains. Go Hawks! It's one of the most exciting things to be a part of. Oh, extremely excited. Certainly this is a definite upgrade. Well, excitement is in the air at Iowa football. And it's not just the drills on the field, but the drills of the future that has everyone looking forward. Head coach Kirk Ferentz and the Iowa football team are combining forces with Samuel Construction to build the new Iowa football complex. Paul Federici, Iowa's director of football operations, and Dave Barrow, Samuel Construction superintendent and project manager, are working on every step of the new home for the Hawkeyes. The project really came into, into conversation when Coach Ferentz recognized and got completely behind the concept that we, it was time in order to stay competitive uh, in our conference and nationally, as well as provide the necessary workspace and learning space for our student athletes and for our coaches, that it was time for an upgrade. The decision was made and the plan is in action. The upgrade, significant. Okay. Very unique project because you've got, again, full-size football, uh, facility. We've got about 89,000 89, square feet under roof for the football facility alone. You got about a 12,000 square foot uh, addition on it. Uh, you're looking at about 100,000 square feet, which is huge. We're looking at 90 guys. We're working on this thing right now. We'll peak out about 110 to 120. And perhaps the most exciting numbers were those regarding fundraising. The new facility and its labor are being funded by private donations alone. A significant statement by Hawkeye fans. This is the single most expensive privately funded athletic project um, in athletic history at Iowa. The Iowa football players are working hard this offseason getting ready for the fall. But this team is laying the groundwork for the future of Iowa football. Go Hawks! David Wright, UITV News. It looks like they're getting pretty excited for that new facility. Well... That's all I have for you today. Back to you. Thanks, guys. If you're looking to go on a picnic, this weekend is not the one to do it. We're going to see temperatures in the low 80s and high 70s with thunderstorms tonight and lasting until Sunday. So if you're going out, don't forget an umbrella this weekend. Back to you at the desk. And we all know who President Barack Obama is now, but who was he before he was president? You can now have an inside peek into Obama's life before he became president. Two of his ex-girlfriends have written a book titled Barack Obama, The Story. The book includes journal entries from both women. Man, it must be hard to uh, imagine Obama as a college student. Eh? You know, I imagine he's a little bit different back then than he is now. 
Well, that's your latest edition of UITV News. Thanks for watching and have a great night.